guys in TV land plan for a presidential election? Um, it's just on the calendar, yeah. Olympics, whatever. But tell us what's different here, what's going on, and some of the learnings and takeaways and some of the business and the impact of the election on, on CNN. Yeah, I mean, it has been a phenomenal year for CNN, um, no, no doubt about it. Um, you know, news has become, uh, you know, the new primetime uh, entertainment, if you will, with the candidates of who they ended up being, who would have foreseen. But we've also done a lot more um, election coverage, like with debates. The debates now, you know, we did not plan for all the debates that actually CNN ended up getting. Um, you know, you have to, um, between NBC and CNN and all of Fox, you know, the debates had to be spread out. But um, I will tell you that, you know, a lot of the um, uh, organizations wanted CNN to kind of take place a little bit more with Anderson and some of our, our uh, you know, our reporters. So we ended up getting more of the debates. We did town halls that we were not planning on. There's just been a lot of focus. The conversation now, just like it's becoming the social conversation. You know, we talk about the social conversation with entertainment. You know, the election now seems to be right now, I hate to say it, it is a little bit entertaining. It's sad <laughs> um, that this is what it's become, but it's exciting because, you know, CNN now is also being viewed not just on linear. CNN.com is booming. CNN Go is out of control. So everybody now is turning to CNN with what's going on in the election. And I don't think it's going to... Um, reduce after the election is over because the inauguration then has to happen in first quarter it's going to continue the momentum and Jeff has also done a phenomenal job of doing original programming we now have Bourdain so the momentum now is picking up and a lot more clients have come to CNN because of the election coverage no doubt but they're now getting a taste of the new CNN and the new original programming and so we've had huge numbers this up front 40-50% gains in revenue for 17, which is a non-election year. So, brands being associated with news, which is sometimes good news, but often yes. it's not so good. Yes. Um, what is the attitude or the sale or the opportunity uh, for brands to be associated in the news environment? Yeah, I mean, it's a fine line. You know, obviously, if there's devastation and something major happens, the brands want to get pulled out. But also, when the crisis happens like that, we also, most times, also pull out the brakes and go commercial free, um, you know, because we know that, you know, we need to do the coverage correctly and the storytelling needs to happen. So there's a fine balance on when breaking news happens. Um, most clients are very much aware of what news is. I mean, it, it's just what. The, the, the beauty of the beast of what it is. Um, but we know those clients that we need to be selective for. We never know what the breaking news is going to be. So it could be a topic like um, something with an airline, and if we have an airline on it, we got to pull it out. So we never know what that breaking news item is going to be and what it's associated to because it could affect a different client at a different time. So tell us about the value of breaking news. Yes, so when breaking news happens, obviously our ratings skyrocket. Um, so there are now clients, which is amazing, in the digital space right now that can now um, capitalize on that increased environment. So because we do a lot of automation and programmatic, when we can now see the spikes, um, you know, and when it happens in the digital space, and clients now are, are basically coming in and trying to um, capitalize on the increased rating. Not so much right now on linear, because in linear we kind of use it a little differently and sometimes the breaks get reduced, but in digital it spikes and the audience is much different, it's much younger, and they're used to see going to that for what's going on with breaking news and they capitalize on that audience.